Hi my loves, welcome back to an empties video. I absolutely love sharing my empties with you guys. I have so many, this giant box, like it hurts to lift. <laughs> All full of empties, everything I finished up towards the end of last year. I've been hoarding my trash because I'd love to go through it with you. I think it's really fun to get into favorites and this is a major haul of favorites. Like heartbreaking amount of stuff I have to replace <laughs> and I don't do sponsorships or anything on this channel so I'll be paying for all this out of my own pocket and that hurts but I just want to share everything with you because I love it all so let's dive straight in it's a mix of skincare beauty makeup body care home goods things like that first thing I grabbed is this delightful shaving cream with a scandalous name but it's the Coochie Oh So Smooth Shaving Cream. This thing is giant, 32 ounces. It smells exactly like frosted cake, and I don't say that lightly. I think it smells so good. And I am very, very finicky with shaving creams. I've gotten into this before because I get like really itchy legs from most shaving creams. I think it's because they're drying, like especially a foam shaving cream. I can't do it. Itchy legs is torture, especially when you're six feet tall and like, that's like four foot of leg or something. Like that's so much itchiness. So I have to have a hydrating shaving cream. And this one is just the absolute best. I've tried everything. It smells amazing. It's very conditioning. As it says, it works anywhere. And it will give you a really smooth shave and it lasts so long. I got this, I checked my Amazon history. I got this in September. I just finished it now in January. And I like to shave like every single day because I like to feel like a dolphin. So, and like I said, I'm tall. So it's a lot of surface area. And I have gotten, what is that? Like, like almost five months of use out of that. So highly recommend, I'll put the link. I just repurchased that on Amazon. So many of these things I need to repurchase. Okay, here is a giant body cream. Kiehl's Creme Decor. Such a good lotion, really moisturizing. It leaves you a little bit greasy, so if that's a deal breaker for you, don't do it. But I like to put it on before bed. I like to go to bed kind of like greasy, <laughs> like just drenched in lotion. I find that to be so relaxing. So this one's great. I just, honestly, I struggle with paying the price. I can't remember exactly how much, but this is expensive. But it was huge, 33 ounces. As you see, I cut it open and I, got every last drop. I always get every last drop of my products. This one, I added water to it, so you can see like some watery remnants at the bottom, but however I do it, I get every drop. So that was good. That's not going in the repurchase pile just because of the price tag. I think there's more affordable lotions. Here's a hairspray, Dove Touchable Feel Hairspray. And I ran out, which is very sad because I think my hair is gonna deflate. Oh, I'm getting something. Whew, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty much out. And I don't, I have a hard time finding a hairspray that I love, that I'm like emotionally committed to, that I'm like monogamous with. This one's not it. So I don't know, I keep running out. I keep trying a new one. If you have a favorite, let me know. But I'm trying to just do drugstore hairspray. It's so much more affordable for a product that you go through so fast. Kristen S, the one purple conditioner. I like the Kristen S line because you can get it at Target. Everything smells incredible. I'm a big smell girl. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a nice perfume. Mm. And I don't know if you can see, but it's purple. So if you have blonde hair or if your hair is prone to have a little bit of brassy orangey shades, this will totally balance that out. And I loved that it came in a conditioner because usually you can get purple shampoo, which is a bit drying. So I thought this was so cool that it worked as a conditioner. It definitely helped with my brassiness. I need to repurchase it is what we're getting down to. And it smells so good. And it's from Target. Here's a product that I was so happy I finally could use up. It's Bath & Body Works Body Gel in the scent Winter Candy Apple. This is my favorite scent that Bath & Body Works smells. Sells. <laughs> but it smells like... I'm gonna be real with you, it smells like herbal essences. And I know that's not a glamorous thing, but if you were a 90s it girl, you know what I mean. Like when I was in like seventh grade, the herbal essences was like the coolest shampoo. And I thought it smelled so good, and I think this smells so good. It has apple, rose, candied orange, maple leaf, and cinnamon. It just smells really good. And I had to ration it all year 
until it finally came back because I only sell at Christmas time. So I was so happy I got to restock that. Next up is another one I'll for sure be restocking. This is such an old school drugstore favorite. It's Airbrush Legs by Sally Hansen. You can kind of see the color. It's kind of messy. This is in the light glow shade. I swear by this stuff for legs, even for arms. It's the perfect body makeup. It's affordable drugstore pricing, but it works so well. I've talked before, I get these like bumps in the backs of my arms. I think a lot of people get them. It's called KP. And on my wedding day, I had a sleeveless dress, strapless dress, and I put this on the backs of my arms. And to its credit, it did not rub off on my white wedding dress at all. <laughs> so that's how much I trust this product. You just put it on, give it some time to dry before you get dressed, and it truly just instantly blurs and tans. If you didn't have time to do self-tanner, I highly recommend it. It's just like makeup, like you put it on before you go out. Anytime I'm in a skirt, I have this. Here's a higher end product I was so sad to run out of. It's the Tatcha Cleansing Oil, Camellia. And I just think this is such an elegant cleansing oil. It feels gorgeous the way it goes on the skin. It's so nice. That said, I have a hard time paying Tatcha prices for something that's just literally an oil. <laughs> I do trust that they source like really high quality ingredients and I think it's a high quality brand, but at the same time, you can just get pure organic oils from Trader Joe's. So that's what I've been doing for face oils and it saves a lot of money. Okay, here's a shower scrub that I loved. It's called Cookie Dough, it's from Lush. It smelled like cookie dough. It kind of feels like cookie dough. It goes on almost pasty, and then as you mix in water, you get a nice exfoliation, but gentle. I don't like anything that really strokes my skin, so that's a huge win. Also with Lush, you know, you save these containers and you can trade those in. Okay, let's do a few candles, I see. Ah, <sighs> Christmas. Why do Christmas have to end so fast? I have my fresh balsam Bath & Body Works candle, all burned out. I have a video showing an easy tip for cleaning those out. I love to reuse these containers. They're really pretty for gifts or on your bathroom counter or whatever. Here's another one that's all burned out, Honey Crisp Apple. This smelled so good. I love apple scents. And what other candles? Oh, I see more. Two more candles. These were from Fall, Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. I really like this one. If you like edible types of scents, which I, Definitely do. Desserty scents, that's really good. This one, autumn scented candle. It, to me, apple is the strongest note on this one. Again, really nice. I miss fall and winter. What happened? They went so fast. Here's another Bath & Body Works pumpkin cupcake soap. That was quite delightful. I enjoyed washing my hands with that. Another Bath and Body Works. This is their moisturizing body wash. Look at this nice giant jumbo tube. It's bigger than my head. And I really like it. It's like it's got shea butter and cocoa butter, so it's more hydrating than your average body gel, which I'm always trying to hydrate because like I said, I'll get itchy legs if I don't stay moisturized in my shower products. So that one was good. The scent was almond blossom. I love almond scents. Like I love almond scents. And that one I'm just kind of at eh on. Okay, another tanning product. This has been my go-to. It's so freaking affordable. Jergens Instant Sun Deep Bronze Shade. Comes out in a mousse. It's really user-friendly. I've never turned orange from it. I've never had any like really bad faux pas. I think it's pretty foolproof. It's the best price point out of all the tanners I've tried. Um, if you need tips on application, I have like a really old video <laughs> on self-tanning. Here's another Tatcha product. Always sad to run out of a Tatcha product. This one is the Essence. And it's just, if you don't have an Essence and you're, and you're a skincare junkie, I highly recommend a good Essence. It feels so decadent. And this one, I shed a tear when I finished it. Like, it's a nice size. This will last you so long. And I savored it and I made it last and I was so sad that it ended and I missed it. And then I got another one from my friend Megan. So I was like, yes, thank you, hallelujah. All right, so this is body, also another body gel. This one's by Glossier. I love the brand Glossier. <laughs> I love their stuff. I love their packaging, this is so cute. This smells incredible. This is another thing. 
Oh, if I could get this as a perfume, I absolutely would. I was gonna let you smell it, but sadly you can't. But this is so good, and it's an oil-based wash for the body, so again, not too dehydrating. I love that. And I'm just gonna save this pump and reuse it. Like, it's just such a good bottle. I just, I really love this. I love their products. Huge fan. All right, here's my favorite toner. There's brand toner with Witch Hazel. This one was in the rose petal scent, but it's alcohol free, so it's not drying. And when I stop using this, I can tell I definitely have breakouts. It's, oof, it's really good at kind of balancing the skin. Okay, let's do a couple household things. Here's the Febreze Unstoppables in the Fresh Scent. This smells so good. To me, this smells like the perfect, most clean, fresh load of laundry. And I love cleaning my house and then doing a quick spritz of this in the air. Oh, it smells so good. And then, and these products are made to spray in the air instead of like onto fabric. So it really just leaves that like fresh, clean feeling behind. So good. Here's a multi-surface cleaner from Miss Myers. This one was in apple cider. I miss all the fun fall scents. This one was good. Again, apple-y and delicious, but like cozy. Ooh, I just got like a rush of cozy fall vibes, even though we're so not there. But I mean, I know it's still winter where most people are, <laughs> but here in LA, it really doesn't seem that wintry. Okay, skincare, Sunday Riley. This is the CEO Glow Serum. Really like this because it's a face oil. So again, like key phrase, I love my hydration. It comes in this oil, but it has vitamin C and turmeric. And so it's so good for evening out your skin tone. I'm a huge believer in vitamin C. I use it every morning. And I thought this was a really cool way to get it because it's in an actual oil. Here we have another super rich body wash from Bath & Body Works. This was in the Hello Beautiful scent. Kind of just a nice, fresh, clean scent. Not like one of my all time favorite must have scents though. Here's a product I love. What is in here? Wow, we have empties in our empties. I have gone through so many empties this year. Holy moly. <laughs> All right, we've got this Post Shave Smoothing Mist by Tree Hut. I think this is great. It feels cooling. Again, if you're prone to itchy legs like I am, you know it's just like anything to avoid that horrible feeling. So I like to mist my legs with this right out of the shower. It feels really good, especially in the summertime because it is cooling. This is Bath & Body Works Lavender Chamomile Body Wash and Foam Bath. I just use it as a bubble bath. Like before bed, a lavender bubble bath is heaven on earth. This is another thing I like to use in those situations. Dr. Teal's Epsom salt and it smells like lavender and this is a drugstore find. Target makes a version of this. Probably Walgreens does too. Always add it to my baths before bed and it is so soothing. If you have sore muscles from working out, it's a lifesaver. It's great. And inside of it, I had an empty lighter because that's what kind of empties video this is. It's, oh, why am I trying to light this? So like you guys know what a lighter looks like. It's like we're at a concert. <laughs> I put this in here because this is my favorite shape of lighter. It's like a little bit extended from your average like cigarette lighter, but it's not as huge as your average household lighter. And I find this to be perfect for getting into a candle. Like you can get all the way to the bottom without burning yourself. And it's like compact. So I get these at the dollar store. I think this one was from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. But I've also seen it at like the 99 cent only store and places like that. More household stuff. This is OxyClean gel stick. And this is what I use for fighting stains. Like if you have a really rugged stain, I don't know, we all have different ways of fighting stains. I find this to be very effective. I kind of like the OxyClean products. Maybe I just fall for their marketing, I don't know. But that's what I use on my stains. And here is one of my favorite face masks of all time. Ugh. This is another one that I was just so sad that it ran out. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. As you can see, I cut it open to get it all out. There's a little bit I couldn't scoop out, but it has like chunks of oatmeal. I find it to be really soothing. If you have skin like me, that gets a little bit grumpy sometimes, like my skin will easily get irritated by the sun or by products that I use, and that is so soothing and hydrating. 
Here's another hairspray. This one's by Way. So this is like on the higher end. Soft hairspray. I really like it because it's like touchable. I don't like for my hair to be like a rock hard sheet of hairspray. That said, it doesn't have a ton of holds, so you kind of have to balance that out. Here's the purple shampoo I was talking about. Kristen S, the one, smells incredible. Really beautiful purple shade. It takes all the brassiness out of your hair. It's like $10 at Target. Probably my favorite purple shampoo for that reason, just because it's so affordable. This is another one. I was so sad that this ran out. Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is one of my favorite face mists. It smells very spa-like, very relaxing. Like when you spray this on your face in the middle of your work day or something, it's just like you're transported to a little oasis. <laughs> I love it. It does have alcohol in it. That said, I've never found it to be drying or irritating, but keep it in mind. Favorite mascara of life. I'm addicted to this stuff. Too Faced, better than sex. I wear this every day. Mascaras are tough for me to ever admit when they're done because you never really get every last drop. But at some point, it just loses that wow factor. And I know for like sanitary reasons, you're supposed to change these out pretty often. But I love that mascara. I get so sad when I run out. Fresh Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. Another one that I was heartbroken. I think we're getting into the heartbreak section of these empties because some of these, I was just so sad that they went away. And I really milked this for so long. I had this product probably for the absolute maximum time you're allowed to have it. I would use it as like an overnight moisturizer basically and it just does good things to your skin and it smells again like a spa vacation in a jar. I've, I was gonna show you the texture but I've already been reusing this jar to make my own scrubs. I just use olive oil and brown sugar. Couldn't be easier and very hydrating, good for your skin. I always wash out and reuse all of these containers. Like this is a perfect size for a little bit of a DIY body scrub, etc. Here's another one that I was so sad when it went away. Fresh soy cleansing milk. This smells incredible. All the fresh products do. And it's, I love a milky, like creamy cleanser. It's like obviously not drying. It's very hydrating. That's such a good one. I feel like it really keeps breakouts in check. Body cream, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I think this is famous for a reason. It smells so good and tropical. Like anytime I go on a tropical trip, I would definitely bring this. And the best thing about it, well, it's very moisturizing, but it has shimmer in it. And I love to look down at my arm like in the sun and just see that faint, tiny glimmer. And it's just like, is she a unicorn? Or does she use Brazilian Bum Bum Cream? No one knows. <laughs> All right, more candles. Winter Candy Apple is another one that I had to ration until Christmas. Finally got to restock, and I definitely restocked during the candle sale. Um, pumpkin Cupcake, this one was really fun during the fall. Oh my gosh, empties and empties and empties. It's like those Russian nesting dolls. All right, Pumpkin Cupcake in the small size. If you've seen my Bath & Body Works videos. I like to theme a room with a particular scentscape, as I call it. So I often get things like the air flower, two different size candles, the soap. Like I like to have a matching scent theme. It just makes it more special. Now there's candles soot everywhere. All right, another thing. I'm always so sad to see this go. Laneige Lip Mask. I use it as, really as a lip balm. I've had this on all day. All night, if I don't have lipstick on, this is what's on my lips usually. Or my other favorite lip product we all know and love, the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. And I always dig in because there's a lot of product. Once you're done twisting it up, there's a lot of product down in here. So I have gone through so many lip products. I can't stand chapped lips. It drives me nuts. So these are my top two. Desert Island go-to absolute must-have lip products. I have so many, I have so many empties of these. Just, this is probably like one-tenth of the amount of actual lip hydration I've gone through recently. Always using it, always trying to have those like soft kissable lips that are comfortable. Like I just think dry lips are so uncomfortable. Another Febreze Fresh Air thingy. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Hand Soap, that was nice. The Acorn Spice Scent, Miss Myers. this is a dish soap. Honestly, 
find it hard to describe what this smells like. It just smells so good. Next fall, I would definitely recommend that. I also had the Miss Myers and the pine scent. I love anything Christmas tree scented, so that was a joy. I just finished up this Amazing Grace shampoo, bath, and shower gel. I just use it as a shower gel. I love this fragrance so much. This is one that my mom would wear, and so it's like very comforting to me, and I think it's a very beautiful, elegant scent. Another lip balm. This one was really sad to go through because this was in the vanilla fragrance flavor, which is my favorite, but I don't know if that was limited. I haven't seen it again. Eyebrow pencil, I go through these things like candy. <laughs> I just get the cheap one from e.l.f. You can't really see it, can you? I don't know, I think it's the shade is taupe and it's just a simple little brow pencil, but it does the job. And it's like, if I'm gonna go through it that fast, I don't wanna pay more than three bucks or whatever that was. Okay, these are some all-time favorite serums right here. Drunk Elephant, the Vitamin C Serum, and the Bee Hydra, which is hydrating. I like to mix these. I've been doing it for years. Pump of each in the morning, so good. And if you've seen, I've talked about the actual most affordable way to get these serums is in the mini size. It comes in like a little pack together. So that's what I've been doing. I'll just get the little travel pack and use that every day. We have two more by Agave lip balms, oh my gosh. One more eyebrow pencil. We have a washi tape empty. I thought this washi tape was so cute. It had fruit on it. That was kind of fun, like last summer. If you ordered a sticker from my little shop, you might have gotten it with this washi tape on the packaging. Here's another household product, OxyClean. I find this powder, like the old school um, infomercial powder, to just be so multi-functional. It will get your whites so white, it will take care of stains. Okay, we're nearing the bottom. Pumpkin cupcake soap. I think we already had one of those. I went through a lot of hand soap. Here's a nice moisturizer. This is from Trader Joe's. I think their beauty products are awesome. They're so well-priced. And this is the Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. My battery just died, but I believe we were somewhere in the process of talking about the fact this is a really good Really kind of basic, affordable moisturizer for the evenings, if you like a gel consistency. Um, okay, this is sort of out there, but it's called Aseptic MD, Clinical Strength Body Wash. And I got this to try for those bumps I was talking about on the backs of my arms, and I did not see any difference. I have officially now tried one million and one products to get rid of that stuff, like everything I've ever heard of, heard of everything you've ever heard of, I've tried it. It's just the way my arms are built, I guess. All right, then I have this eye cream, Saturday Skin. I liked that this came in a tube so you don't have to dig your finger into it. And then once it started to run out and nothing else would squeeze out, I cut it open, same old trick. And look at that, I got every <laughs> drop of juicy eye cream goodness. Um, I don't think that eye cream is anything to like write home about. I just, cute packaging, worked well, whatever. All right, Jo Malone Red Roses Cologne. I love Jo Malone fragrances, so nice. I'm kinda hit or miss with fr rose fragrances. Like sometimes they rub me the wrong way. And this one, shockingly, wasn't my favorite. By the way, they're doing work in my building. I'm sorry if you've been hearing construction sounds, but yeah, I don't know, I didn't love this. I actually wound up using it to spray on my mail and like sticker orders as they went out. So it definitely got used as you see. Okay, talk about like an eye cream that didn't wow me. Here's an eye cream that I love so much. I've written sonnets about this eye cream. I have dedicated my life to this eye cream. <laughs> I'm so in love with it and it's so expensive. And I don't think I'm gonna replace it because it was so expensive, but I loved it. <laughs> it's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged, Supercharged Complex. And you can't even see what the texture was like because I used all of it, but take my word, the texture was a dream, an absolute dream. It just had like a thickness to it. And when you put it on your eyes before bed, you feel like it's gonna solve all the problems in the world and you're just gonna wake up with the eyes of a newborn and world hunger is gonna be solved and it's just such a good eye cream. I really loved it. And it's gone, okay. That was dramatic. Moving on, Nivea antiperspirant. I 
fear that this is probably bad for you because it has that aluminum crap in it but i'm not gonna lie it smells so good it smells like i want to smell i want to just sweat this stuff out and never need deodorant because it just i just glow with that fragrance it smells so good okay so dramatic i don't know where the first half of the bottom half of this went but i really want to have a conversation on this foundation and as you can see, it's like all rubbed off and it's just half of a tube, so that's unfortunate. But we're gonna talk about this. It's the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, I think they call it. And I believe the shade is light. Um, I love this stuff. I think it has the coverage of a foundation. I use it like a foundation when I have it. This is another one that I like shed a tear that I ran out, because it's not cheap, but it works so well and it does work like a foundation so I think it kind of warrants the price but I have two problems with it one it comes in this tube and it has like imagine if you will that this were a complete tube as you like squeeze out the last few drops it starts to go crazy and it shoots all different directions instead of just nicely into your hand and I don't know if you've ever gotten makeup on clothing but it's like impossible to get out this stain stick ain't gonna get it out. This OxyClean ain't gonna get it out. <laughs> it's like, it's almost like bleach. Like, it, like if I got some on this black shirt, it would just ruin it. Do you guys know a cure for that? I think makeup stains are the worst thing that can happen to clothing. Um, so this, that's a problem for me when I'm like getting ready in the morning and I try to squirt it out and it's like, pa -ching, and it lands on my shirt or something. That's such a bummer. So I don't like the tube for that reason. I do like that I was able to cut it open and do my little trick. And as you see, I got it all. But the other problem I have with the packaging is that it has this like silver print on it, which is pretty, but as you can see, it's rubbing off. Guess where it's rubbing off onto? Me. <laughs> and you can see like my fingers, my hands. So I would be like getting ready in the morning. And sometimes I put my makeup on with my fingers. So sue me. And I would get this silver ink on my fingers because the packaging isn't well made. And then I would be rubbing silver ink into my face along with the foundation. And I know that just sounds all kind of petty, but that's, those are all just bummers when you pay a lot for a product. And I think the product itself is amazing. I just wish they would put it in a bottle like any other foundation. I don't know why it's like that. Okay. I've been waiting to tell you that, guys, that every day as I was putting it on. All right, here's an empty toner. This is by the Claire's brand. And so this is, I think, K-Beauty. Um, so nice. Supple hydrating toner. I love me, as you know, a hydrating product. So this was really fun to go through. It's not like a watery texture like most toners. It's like almost semi-viscous, almost like a gel. We have a lipstick empty. This is so fun for me because I never use up lipsticks. I have one million open lipsticks and I finally finished one. I'm like, now I know what it feels like to finish a lipstick. Very exciting. And this is the MAC Cream Sheen Formulation, which I enjoy because again, it's just not too drying. Let's swatch it, shall we? The color is Cream Cup, and it is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, as you can tell by the fact I actually finished it, and I never finished a lipstick. Um, but it's like a really beautiful little pink. I think it's such a nice, perfect everyday pink. Um, it's just so good, it's a great formula. I finally got to the point where I was putting it on, like the little nub, you know, when you're trying to use as much as you can, and it just like fell off to the side, it was sad. But I bet. You could scoop this out and put it in like a little pot and then use a little lip brush and there's probably like months of products still in this last absolutely not least this would be a heartbreaking moment but it's not because i got another one of these as a gift right when i ran out which was just such, honestly such an emotional godsend because i'm very committed to this perfume this was another scent that my mom wore especially at christmas so the holidays would just be depressing without it honestly and this is trish mcavoy number nine blackberry and vanilla musk <sighs> it smells so good it really takes me back to the best most warm cuddly comforting sweet mom hug that you could ever have so i hope that you guys all can imagine how special that is 
and it just smells so good. And I do think it's like a Christmassy scent, um, but you could totally wear this year round. These construction sounds are such a bummer, but Trish McAvoy makes amazing perfumes. And this one, number nine, absolute best, absolute best scent. It also comes in a candle scent, very similar. I think it's called blueberry and vanilla, but it smells so good. I just absolutely adore it and I'm so happy I got to have it in my life still. This empty is not the end of it, so thank you. And mm, that is officially the end. I was just throwing some things back in here, but we covered a lot of empties ground. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you got some ideas because these are truly some all-time favorites that I was very upset to run out of. But maybe they will inspire you to restock in a new fun way because I do think the whole point of beauty is a little bit of self-care, a little chance to take care of yourself because I'm willing to bet you take care of other people more than yourself. And a lot of women do. And I'm here to empower you to change that even if it's just with a really luxurious, decadent smelling hand soap. And for the 30 seconds that you're washing your hands, you can just be treating yourself because you deserve it. You deserve it. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe and join us. I have a vlog coming up next, which is what you guys voted for. So that will be around soon. And I have so much I want to share with you guys. And I just love you so much. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.